My name is Mrs. Chin and I am the 7th grade school counselor. Thank you for watching this short video. In this video, I will explain how to register for 8th grade, how to choose your elective classes, and how to complete the course selection form correctly. I will also provide detailed information about electives classes and course expectations. You will register for 8th grade by way of completing the registration form in the Google Classroom. Once your form is submitted, your registration is complete. Just like this year, you will have 8 periods in a day and the year is divided into 2 semesters. The first half of the school year and the second half of the school year. Your English, Science, Social Studies, and Math classes will all be scheduled for you as well as lunch. Those are your core classes and will last all year long. In addition, you will have two class periods that need to be filled with electives classes. With that in mind, let's take a look at the form and the elective classes that are available. As you look at the form, you will see the elective classes listed on the left hand side. After each elective class listed, you will either see an SEM, which means the class is a semester long class, or YR, which means the class is a full year class. You will need to rank order your top six selective choices. Place a number one next to your top choice and number down from there. If you are currently in an academy program, you will automatically continue in that program. You do not need to reapply. Your academy class will count as one full year elective class for eighth grade. If you are in the World Language Academy, your elective classes will be Spanish 2 and French 2. You will not need to choose any other elective classes. It is important to note that we strive to give students their top elective choices, although we cannot always guarantee it. Several factors can impact how a student is placed in an elective class. For example, availability in the class, the number of course sections available, whether or not a student is on the honors track or in an academy program, and of course the design of our master schedule. We ask for your understanding in this process. When deciding which elective classes to take, here are a few tips. Think about keeping a balanced schedule. Ask yourself if you allowed for a brain break during your school day. For example, a class where you can get creative and have fun. Or ask yourself if you're up for the challenge of a heavy academic schedule. If you want to take Spanish 2 or French 2, those are high school level classes and you can expect homework daily. We offer a girls super sports PE class. This is a full year class taught by Mrs. Gore. The class is intended for girls who have advanced athletic skills and enjoy competition. If you are interested in applying for video production or yearbook, here are some things to consider. In video production, you will be working behind and in front of the camera. You will also write your script and work as a team to produce the morning announcements. When considering your book class, it would be helpful for you to be comfortable with basic computer skills and working with text. You also must be willing to take some pictures during the school day as directed by Mrs. Lee. If you are interested in being a teacher aide, office aide, DSES aid, nurse's aid, or peer tutor, you will need to fill out an application in addition to your registration form. This is a special application process in which students' grades, attendance, and conduct are reviewed. Applications are available in the Google Classroom. To learn more about these special elective opportunities, please refer to the list of course descriptions. Before choosing your elective classes, please read the course descriptions and be thoughtful about your selections. Make sure to discuss your choices with a parent or guardian. 
a parent or guardian is required to review your elective selections. We will not be able to change your elective choices once you register for them. As we wrap up, let me remind you of a few important things. Be sure that your parent or guardian has reviewed your registration form. By checking the box on the registration form, you are affirming your parent or guardian has approved your choices. Please be sure you have submitted the aid application if applicable. Your registration form is due on or before Tuesday, February 2nd. If you have any questions about registration, please contact the counselors. We are happy to help. Congratulations on beginning the process of registering for 8th grade.